Good evening, folks. Welcome to another episode of Stuff and Such. Today we're back on the Husqvarna uh, 266, converting it over to a big bore 272. In the last video, we covered uh, most of the breaking down of the overall chainsaw, removing the cylinder piston. And you can find that in the previous video. And removing the clutch and the flywheel. I know I called it a clutch a million times in the last video. It drove me nuts. But, anyways, so in this video, we're going to finish breaking down the saw, getting it cleaned up, splitting the saw in half checking the bearings, checking the seals. We'll also be replacing the center gasket in the center. That way, that's a pretty critical part. You'd never want to reuse that. Even if it looks great, one little nick in it and you're either sucking air in your engine and she won't run right or it'll run just good enough to blow up or it'll be leaking oil in your reservoir all the time, which is a miserable situation. Before I get started in today's video, I need you to hit that subscribe button. It's right here. Hit it. Don't not hit it. Hit it now. That way you'll get the videos coming up on the rest of the build. There'll be a few more episodes after this one. So if you really want to make sure you get the uh, the uh, next videos that come up, you need to hit that notification button that's also beside the subscribe button when you scroll down a little bit. You'll see it down there. And let's get started. So this is where we're at. We've got the flywheel off, we got the clutch off, we got the oil pump out. So what you want to do next is I don't know if you can see it or not, but right here. I missed that. Get focus on it's a little square rubber washer. You don't want to lose that. It goes on your fuel pump or on your oil pump. And if you don't have it, you'll have oil everywhere except your chain. So don't lose that ring over there. Next thing we'll want to do is we'll pull off this oil seal. Three screws. Here's the three screws and then you need a little pick or a screwdriver or something. Fairly straightforward. One important thing I'm going to tell you is make sure that you purchase a rebuild kit with this o-ring. So there's one on that seal and there's also one on the oil pump on the outside. If these two little O-rings start to leak, it's essentially like you've lost a seal. What happens is that that will leak directly into your bottom end of your crankcase and it will not run. So make sure you buy kits that have those o-rings and replace them. Next thing you need to do to split this crankcase in half is on this side are all the bolts that hold it together. You have one here in the back end from the tail, you have four in here one in each corner and you usually have two right here so I'm going 
pop them out. While I'm thinking of it, I'm going to tell you something. When you rebuild a saw, one thing that can happen over time is that in this chain tensioner in the crankcase, sometimes a hairline crack can develop and it's hard to see and what will happen is your, when you set your saw down over time it will leak all the oil out to that level and that can get really annoying so just check for that when you're rebuilding it unfortunately I don't know of any repair for it other than get a new crank half This saw now is ready to be split in half. Once again you'll need a brass hammer. You'll need to strike on the shaft with a reasonable amount of vigor. We'll go ahead and knock this one out. And there we have her. This bearing stayed on the seal or on the shaft, which is a little annoying, but it happens. Now that it's apart, what you have to do is you need to remove all this gasket material a good way is a sharp knife or a scraper if you have it I'm going to go ahead and give these a bit of a clean up and then we'll come back here. This is going to wrap up today's video on this uh, this build. Got her fully disassembled. Now we're at a point where we start to add parts to it. We'll check over the bearings a bit more. We'll install new seals all over, gaskets all over. We'll look into if this piston can do anything. If you watched the last video, which you should have, if you didn't, shame on you. Then, um, got me sidetracked it some about the piston um, yeah we got to look into the piston and see if it's usable if we can get that ring freed up it's uh, rusted in place at its current time but maybe with a little bit of shock therapy and some soaking and some fluid and stuff like that maybe she'll uh, come a come alive so that uh, that's it. Subscribe, like my channel, like this video rather, and then uh, watch the next video, and then watch a few more videos. Tell your buddies about it, and then you'll be awesome. Yeah. Why are you still here?
click on a video, subscribe. Why did a cowboy buy a dash hound? Because someone told him to get a long little doggy. <laughs> oh man. Anyways, see ya.